10.1. Okay? Can I give you your testing back? Okay. If you guys know what you're going to get stuck on, you know what? Never mind. I'll just email you. It will save time. Because it's wet time. Um, there we go. Wyckoff said that there is a lot of differential equations. Differential equations is 10 1, 10 2, 10 4. He said that there were six, maybe seven problems. You said, he said there are three. Who said there are three? Three, 10.4. Three, 10.4. Did he tell you if they were salt or money? We did well. Did he tell you if there were two salt or two money? No, he gave we, you we no. did both, but you said it was a cool formula. I'll show you a cool formula, too. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to do 10 1 right now. Super cool. Um, mm -hmm. I want to do one that you'd, you'd struggle with. Oh, right. Yes. I love struggling. You love struggling? Yeah. Um, you don't look that hard. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple. It's okay. So first of all, I'm going to do, I'm doing right now, I'm doing number, um, I think I'm going to do number 30 from the practice test. I have dy dx equals 6xy minus 12x squared y. Okay, general solution, whenever it says general solution, that just means you have a constant you didn't have to solve for. It. If it says particular solution, that means that they gave you an x and a y and you need to solve for it. Is that okay? Fantastic, Beth. First things first, I need to be able to identify that this is separable. How would I know what was separable? <laughs> True. How would you know if you're not really good at algebra? General rule of thumb. If y has a power that's not 1, it has to be separable. I'm going to say that again. If y has any power besides 1, it has to be separable. Am I being clear enough? Okay, if y is squared, if y is to the one half, is y is cubed, is y to the fourth, y to the tenth, y to the negative one, y to any power besides one has to be separable. And is separable the dx one? We'll do one right now. Okay, this one doesn't tell you because y has the power of one. However, there's a y in every term. So I can factor it out. So I have dy dx equals y times 6x minus 12x squared. Then, um, very important, people mess this up a lot with, uh, they put the x's on one side and the y's on the other side, but the dx is on the bottom and the dy is on the bottom. You can't integrate if dx is on the bottom or dy is on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply both sides by dx. So that I have dy equals y, 6x minus 12, x squared dx. So we're only a quick step in my dance class. I have Monsters Inc. stuck in my head because we play the same song for an hour. Mm -hmm. I'm going to divide by y. So then I would have dy over y is equal to 6x minus 12 x squared dx. Okay, I'm going to integrate both sides. Are you guys feeling better about the test at all? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay, good. Okay, so if I integrate this side, what do I get? Glad you know. Okay, if I integrate 6x, I would get 3x squared. If I integrate 12x, uh, 4x cubed plus c. Now, we could put the c on either side. We could even put it on both sides. However, um, if I put a c on both sides, 
when I combine them to one side, I'm just going to get a different C. So there's no reason to do more work than I have to. Just put it on the X side, because you have to solve for Y anyways. All right, next comes the tricky part. We have to solve for Y. So how do we get rid of LNs? E. Yeah, you guys are great. E, E, this cancels. I'm left with Y equals E to the 3X squared minus 4X cubed plus C. Now, they're not going to leave the plus C in the power. They're inordinately fond of making it a K or an M in front of it. I'll show you. So what they do, if I'm adding powers, that's the same thing as multiplying the base. So this is the same thing as e to the 3x squared minus 4x cubed times e to the c. e to a constant is just a different constant. So they rename this. Usually they rename it k, sometimes they rename it c, sometimes they rename it l, sometimes they rename it m. Pick your favorite letter. It doesn't matter what letter they use. Is that okay? The answers will all use the same letter. Does that make sense? Like A through J will all use like K for your constant or whatever, so you don't need to worry about which letter is the right one. Well, you don't need to worry about which letter is the right constant. You do need to worry about A through J bubbling the right one in on your sheet, right? Okay, so then I have Y equals K E to the 3X squared minus 4X cubed. Booyah. Owned it. So easy. Get some. And bring it. <laughs> Jimmered it? <laughs> Jimmered it. I don't know if Jimmer like a bad. Jimmered it. I dropped out. He's asking if you know if he's greater than you. Get it's okay, though. No. I feel like Jimmer and I could be friends. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I want to do, I'm going to come back to some more 10.1, but I want to show you both methods and show you how to tell the difference. Is that okay? Um, oh, there's a test. Is the card things going around still? Yeah, we're good? Thank you so much for doing that. If nothing else, at least Jackie will feel better about getting yelled at, right? She'll know that you guys still love her. Now, Jackie, I know that Jackie sometimes is hard to follow in lecture. Oh, yeah. But, in Jackie's defense, um, there didn't used to be a math lab at all before she was here. She's the one who got us a math lab. Whoa. She's the one who fought to get you guys TAs to do these reviews. She's the one who got you um, review set, like anything that is helpful in your class other than going to lecture, she's the one who did it. So, even though she may not be the most gifted teacher, she's a really good instructor. Yeah. What? I am aware, Monty. Um, need integrating factor. That's integrating factor. Are you guys ready? I'm doing number 35. It says x squared dy dx plus x y equals 6 x to the 6th plus 5 x to the 5th x is greater than 0. This just means you're going to have to divide by x. That's all that means. That means divide by x. So the first thing I'm going to do I need to recognize that I can't get all the x's by themselves, nor can I get all the y's by themselves. Because I can't do that, it must be integrating factor. Those are my only choices. So, integrating factor, what I need to do is I need to get the formula dy dx plus p of x, y equals q of x. If you have mignot, these are dells, and I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, then what I need to do, so I'm going to get that format. The most important thing to do, like the step one, is I get dy dx not multiplied by anything. So I'm going to divide each term by x squared. So far so good? Okay, now comes the next step. 
Now I need to, now that I have that form, we get i. i equals e to the integrating factor of p of x, which in this case, I'm going to write it over here. Integral of whatever's times y, 1 over x. What is 1 over x? ln of x. Now, very important is to simplify at this point. These will cancel. You can't cancel if there's a number in front. If there's a number in front, put it up as the power first, okay? Then these cancel to just give me x. I'm just going to go straight down onto this board. Okay, now that I know that, then we use i y equals the integral of i q. i is x. y equals the integral of x times whatever's on that side of the equation. 6x to the 4 plus 5x cubed. I'm going to multiply it through. x y equals the integral of 6x to the 5th plus 5x to the 4th. I'm going to integrate that side. x, y equals, um, this would be x to the 6th plus x to the 5th plus c. Let me stress the importance of putting the plus c right now. If you do not, you will get your 10.1, 10.2, and 10.4 problems all wrong. Why, uh, Wyckoff just told me that there were six or seven of them on the test. Do you, are you scared enough? Great. No, because in the next section, in just a moment, we're going to divide by it, and usually they give you initial conditions and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to divide by x, so that I get y <coughs> equals x to the fifth plus x to the fourth plus c over x. Now, because this is a general solution, it will have the C in there, which will remind you to do the plus C. But if they give you initial conditions, you would, like the whole point of the initial conditions is to solve for the C, so the answer choices wouldn't have it in there. Does that make sense? Yep. Great. I'm sorry, say again? 